Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'd love to teach you how you can use just a little bit of custom CSS to change the word sale to anything you want it to be on your Squarespace website. I'll show you how to do this for your entire storefront and any product that's on sale and how to narrow it down to just individual products in your product list. Now the codes I'm using today are listed in the description below this video, but I would love to show you exactly how they work so you understand what you're going to want to change to make it look great on your own website. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site. I am using 7.1 for this tutorial, but these codes do work in Brine websites as well. So I'm going to hop over to design and scroll down to custom CSS. This is where we're going to paste the codes that we're using today. You'll notice I have two different items on sale and it says sale down here on the bottom right hand side. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to hide that term or that text that says sale and put something right after it. And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to add the text product mark and then open up a parentheses and say visibility hidden. Okay. Now I'm going to close that parentheses, that bracket there, or curly bracket, I should say. And you'll notice the word sale is now gone from Gus the pineapple and plastic fork and cup. So we're going to open up a new line here and I'm going to say product mark after and then open up a curly bracket. And here I'll say visibility visible exclamation point important. And then this is the fun part. I'm adding a semicolon and I'm going to say content and then open up a quotation mark and type 20% off and check it out. Now it says 20% off where it used to say sale. How cool is that? If you wanted to stand out even more, you can change the font size if you'd like. Little semicolon and I'll say font size. Let's go to REM and that'll make it ginormous. Uh, we can add another semicolon and give it a background. Let's say background color yellow. And I spelled color wrong. There we go. Awesome. And now it's got that color behind it. So it looks really vibrant and definitely stands out on the site. So lots of opportunities with this one. This specific code for product mark and product mark after is in the description beneath the video. So you can grab that and work with it. I'm going to remove those two fancy added things that we did for changing the size and the color there. Now, before I show you how to change just one specific item, I do want to show you this as well. This is my storefront with all of the items in my shop. If I click on the individual product here, this is a page that has just the individual product on it. And you'll notice my product block also says 20% off. So it's really important for you to pay attention to that. If you have the product outside of the store and listed as a product block on an individual page, this code is going to change that mark as well. Okay. So let's hop back into my store and I'll show you how to change it on just one specific item. Let's say we just want to change this third item here. What I'm going to do is actually isolate just that item before I've changed the product mark. Might sound confusing. Don't worry. I'm going to type this out so you can follow along. I'm going to say grid item nth child three. Okay. And now we're going to add that to the front of our second line as well. Any place where it says product mark, those two places there, we're saying grid item nth child three. You'll notice the third item in this line now says 20% off. The first item still just says sale. Say so I just want to isolate that to the first item. I'll go ahead and change this to a one instead of a three. So now Gus the pineapple says 20% off. Plastic fork and cup goes back to the word sale. Pretty interesting, right? Now it's really important for you to know this. I recommend hiding your categories if you're going to use this particular code and I'll show you why. If we change this back to three, so plastic fork and cup, the third item here is 20% off. If I click on category one, category one only has two products. So that code is not going to work. It's saying I want to change the label for the third product. There is no third product. There's only one and two. And if I'd like to change the third label, it doesn't know what to do. I haven't associated it with the individual item, just the third item on display. So if you're going to use this code to change just one thing in your store, I recommend that you hide the categories. So people have to look at just the layout where it's in the proper order. Does that make sense? I'll show you how to do that really quickly here. We'll just say category filter container display none. 
And then the category filter container is gone. So now I know anytime someone looks at my store, they're going to see all three of these items. Okay, and that way, the third item being changed to 20% off is going to work. So if you're going to isolate just one item, be super duper careful about how you do it. I wouldn't recommend it unless you're really convinced that's the best thing to do for your website, okay? Alrighty, so all the codes I went over today are listed in the description below. And again, I used my 7.1 demo site to show you this, but these codes also work for Squarespace 7 templates built in the Brian theme family, so you can grab those codes and use them on your own site as well. Definitely be careful if you're gonna isolate one specific product at a time, but otherwise, have at it. Explore this code a little bit. Change what the font size looks like, the background color, change the text type or the font family if you want to. All kinds of options with those codes. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.